We are here today with a great drummer, teacher, and author, uh, my friend Rick Latham, who's in LA. Hey, Rob. How you doing, man? I'm over here on the other coast, um, but um, I guess we're all hunkered in right now for with what's going on, but we'll get through it. We'll get through it. Um, Rick, we want to talk about uh, the second book you wrote in 1990, which makes it ooh, 30 years old. Yeah, yeah, it's 30 years. Yeah. Amazing. The Contemporary Drum Set Technique book. Uh, tell us about that and, you know, why you wrote it. Well, the, you know, we talked about the Advanced Funk Studies book when I was going to North Texas working on my master's. In 1980, I wrote Advanced Funk Studies. And, um, you know, that was more of a kind of a compilation of kind of what was happening at that time. It really, there's not a lot of text in that book. There's a lot of great exercises, I think, to get people into that stylistic kind of genre that was happening at that time. Funk, and a lot of people still use it to introduce students to that style. But the contemporary drum set techniques, I wanted to show more of my linear approach, really how to approach and my concept for coming up with these linear patterns that, that I'm known for. And uh, of course, I, you know, have imitated a lot of great drummers, uh, Mike Clark, you know, uh, Lenny White, Billy Cobham, <laughs> you know, David Garibaldi, you know, all these linear kind of guys. And um, yeah, I wanted to, again, kind of really show how I came up with it and little exercises to practice to show you how to come up with those linear ideas. And um, yeah, I could play a little brief idea, a little sh just to show people. That would be great. Show, you know, some samples of, of kind of the, the types of things that are in the book would be fantastic. Sure. I'm gonna switch my vocal mic off. You can still hear me a little bit when I talk, so I'm gonna try to you know, explain what's happening. So this is uh, just a little basic sticking pattern that you can really uh, kind of embellish, but here's a simple groove. Kind of a simple sticking thing that I call hand doubles against single bass drum strokes. A uh, one, two, two, four. So a little bit faster. A one. So there's a lot of exercises like that in the book, and you start very slowly, but then build them up to create a linear kind of groove. So I'm going to just groove for a second on this linear idea. Give us another. Give us another example. Sure. So the idea with all this stuff is just, again, articulation and the relationship and the consistency which you play this stuff is all important to make it groove. So now I'm just going to kind of jam on a groove for a second like that. Yeah. So just a little, you know, I mean, you can do it slow, fast, you know, kind of various tempos. But, you know, that kind of, I call it tricky sticking linear ideas, you know, are not really as complicated as they sound if you understand, you know, the, the concept behind it. So yeah. that's that was the idea of the Blue Book, you know, to really show 
that linear thing. And I know there's audio uh, that, that comes with the, uh, with the book also. Tell us about what's on the audio. The audio in, in actually the blue book, every single exercise is played by me. You guys have the audio incorporated into the digital format. So it's really great. You, every, every lick you can hear played. The book initially came with cassettes and then CDs. Yeah. And now digitally, now digitally. So, you know, a lot of people, a lot of students, I find that a lot of people don't bother to really listen to the, the CDs or, or uh, cassettes when they had cassettes. But, but it's nice to know that they're there. You can really hear what the groove is supposed to sound like. So every, every, every exercise in the book I played. So that audio is incorporated in the digital what, format. What I love about the digital format is it's just so, so much easier. You don't have to get a CD or download or anything. You know, you tap the icon and, and the audio starts playing and, you know, you're, you're, you're immediately in business, you know. It, yeah, yeah. It's, it's great, man. It's great. And you guys, uh, Hudson, has done a great job with this. Oh, uh, thank you. I just feel, it, you know, it's a real improvement over having books and videos and, and, and audio that you have to kind of fumble around with. So, yeah, thank you. And, and we're delighted and honored um, to have your, your, both of your books. They're, um, they're classics, you know. Well, thank you, man. I'm honored to be with you guys. And, and talking about, you know, that digital thing, you know, at, at, you know I'm teaching part-time at MI now, too, in Hollywood. And everything is on the pad. You know, right. the, track, the tracks we use in the studio, the exercises for the students, all the work, you know, just like Berkeley, it's the same. I'm sure a lot, you know, there's a lot of schools going to that. So all the, all the, the students have iPads. They bring up page 10, boom, they can hear what it sounds like. They, you know, so the digital world is, is here to stay, that's for sure. And you don't have to schlep a whole backpack <laughs> of books, too, you know. It's hey, man, we all had so many books. And I was talking to somebody earlier today, man. You know, we had so many books. I still have a huge pile of all the favorite drum books, you know. I could get them all from Hudson now because you guys have the, the great catalog. But, um, you know, we all have all those books. I have so many. When I was studying classical music, I had briefcases full of mallets and you know, all the stuff you need as a percussionist, you know. So at least with the books now, yeah, you can really trim that down quite a bit. You don't have to, you know, have a locker for your books and the backpack and all that stuff. So, yeah, yeah. the digital thing is great. Well, Rick, thank you. I want to thank you for taking the time today. I know you're you're busy, uh, a busy man out there doing a lot of recording and uh, doing a lot of tracks for people. So thank you. Um, and everybody, check out both of Rick's really classic works, um, this one, the Contemporary Drum Set Technique book, and the earlier book that was written in 1980, the Advanced Funk Studies book, which is still, uh, you know, one of the gold standards. So thank th you. Thank you, Rob. Thank you, guys. We'll talk soon. Okay, man. Take care. Great to see you. Stay healthy, man. Stay well.